As the crisis rages on, the Director General of Wiki Solidarity Movement, Prince Sudo Nwoyo, yesterday dumped the PDP for APC. Nwoyo, who announced his resignation from the PDP in Port Harcourt, cited high-handedness in the party as one of the reasons he left the ruling party, the ruling PDP. He further stated that it defected because those who worked for the PDP were abandoned while monies were given to new members from the APC to entice them into the party. Umoyo said, My decision stems from the faulty regime in the PDP where those who have worked for the party are dumped and abandoned while monies are given to newcomers to entice them to the party. The entire leaders in the 23 local government areas of the state have had no appointment. They have been asking what is in for them. I have not been able to prefer any answer. This informed my decision or move to the APC. I will collapse all the WSM structures in the APC. But seriously, is this a sign that Wiki is about to defect to APC? Is this a sign? Because this this person that just uh, defected is one of uh, Wiki's strong man. In fact, it was part of the Wiki Solidarity Group. So I'm thinking here, is this a sign? Is Wiki about to the defect to the APC because there are also some news that have that have reported that we can met with Chernobyl and some other PDP members. I think those will be Wiki allies met with Chernobyl in London recently and it has got me thinking that is Wiki about to make the move because we all know that uh, PDP hasn't agreed to replace uh, Iyocha Ayu. Iyocha Ayu has insisted that he's going to be in office until after the 2023 elections. And so far, there have not been any any much, you know, development. And we have not really seen anything from the Atiku camp, anything significant that Atiku has really done to heed to the demands from Wiki's camp. Uh, Wiki's camp. Wicked Camp has also made it known that that is the only condition that they can settle the, the uh, quarrel and, you know, work together. But so far, we have not seen that happen. Maybe this is a plan B for Wiki. You know, maybe Wiki is really considering defecting to the APC. And as for APC, APC considers, you know, Wiki is, is a strong man, is a strong man. We have seen that because if he is not a strong man, PDP would not be trying to, you know, has Kajo played with him, beg, send different people to him. You know, we all know he's a very strong man. We know that. So APC, I think, considers Wiki as a strong asset. And, you know, they know that once Wiki joins APC, you know, he's going to add a lot of value to, to, the, to their party. So maybe that is why they are trying by all means to make him join the party. But anyway, before we go ahead with the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you have been able to watch to this day, like, why? Are we fighting? Please go and subscribe. Subscribe to this join uh, this channel. Join this amazing community we have here. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn on the post notification bell. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. But barring any last-minute changes, the committee set up by fielding members of the PDP will submit its report to the party's board of trustees today. A top-ranking member of a party leadership familiar with the matter confided in newsroom yesterday that Governor Amadou Fitiri led team has served the BOT notice that it would be submitting its report. The source said, if things go as planned, the report, which I understand is ready, will be submitted to the BOT on Wednesday, that is today. We have met with Fitzeri 
from Atiku's side and Professor Jerry Ghana from Wiki's side. We expect the reports and recommendations which will form the basis of our decision on the way forward. Another party source who pleaded anonymity claims that the Wiki camp was demanding that three members of a party leadership should step down. The source said, we may be dealing with another challenge because apart from IU, they are asking that the National Secretary, Senator Samuel Ayanwu, the Deputy National Chairman North, Omar Damagun, should go and in their place, acting national officers should be appointed to reflect Nigeria's diversity. Meanwhile, the Chairman of the PDP Board of Trustees, Senator Walid Jubril said he stood by his comments about the inherent injustice in the North holding the position of presidential candidates, national chairman and BOT chairman at the same time. He spoke against the backdrop of reservations expressed by some of the feuding party members over his comments as contained in an interview he granted Channel's television. Jubril said, based on my earlier statement that PDP cannot produce in North President, National Chairman, BOT Chairman, all from the North for 2023 presidential elections, I still maintain my stand on that. Statement, P on that statement, PDP is a democratic and national party that caters for all Nigerians. It's not sectional, but loved by all Nigerians. As a PDP BOT chairman, I must say the truth and nothing but the truth. No matter any criticism, I don't fear anyone but God and true agenda of our party. I will have that I stand strongly on my toes. I am a true member of PDP since its inception in 1993. Today, I am one of the truest members of the party who remained in the party since 1993 guys what do you think what do you think is going to happen do you think that uh, they are going to heed to all these demands because at first it was they demanded that are you should be removed later they are demanding that the bot chairman should be removed and you know one other positions also that they should also step down let me know what you think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i'll see you in my next video bye for now